Hello beautiful souls, it is Zach here and it is, wow, it's day six. Day six of my 30 day video challenge and I am now back in Tulum. I've checked into a different hotel, one that I haven't been before, on the promise that it would have good Wi-Fi and yeah, the Wi-Fi turns out to be not very good, but it'll do the trick. <laughs> That's all I really seem to care about these days. Well, not true, but it's an important thing for my business. Anyway, I'm back in Tulum. I was in Cancun and the place was... I was speaking to my friend about it because he was actually looking to go on holiday, well, around this area. He ended up going to Tulum. But he was looking at Cancun as well and he kind of just got this impression that it was like hotels everywhere and just beach and kind of like didn't really have a soul and that's honestly what I felt as well when I was there in Cancun for like the past two two nights three nights two nights and it was okay but I had that kind of city vibe which personally I'm not a huge fan of and I did drive through the hotel zone there's this like this bit of land that like goes off into the sea and loops back around. And I drove down that and the hotels were like huge, massive things. And it just didn't, it was missing this kind of like local touch. It was very much of that kind of resort, like beach resort kind of built for purpose kind of thing. And yeah, it wasn't really my style. Um, it wasn't, and I was actually living inside the city, kind of like in the central part which was okay, but it's just, it had this kind of vibe to it. It was like more dark and dank kind of city, a bit intimidating as well in a lot of ways, but I'm back here now. And yeah, Tulum actually feels like home to me now. It's weird, like I've lived here, I've been literally living in Tulum since June. So it's been, what's that, six? It's been like five months. Yeah, it's been five months since I actually arrived here now and it's nice it's a smaller town it's got that kind of spiritual hippie chic kind of vibe going on kind of in a way especially down by the beach it certainly has that but even the town itself is quite like that and it's a bit smaller it's it's nice it's cozy and um and if you can find some good wi-fi then yeah you're you're on a roll so yeah i'm feeling good i'm feeling good today i am feeling good one thing that I've not been entirely certain on and is seeing like numbers, like synchronistic numbers, angel numbers. I know it's just a belief that I have in my mind and it's like, I, don't, I shouldn't attach myself so much as to whether or not I'm seeing these angel numbers or if I'm seeing numbers that are like really close and it's almost like the universe's way of like, of like, playing with me a little bit, showing me like an 11, an 11, 12, like two days in a row, or like two, two, one, or three, three, four, or five, five, six, and stuff like that, you know, it's just like, or one, one, zero, uh, and just, just a lot of that in a certain span of time. And to me, that means that I am, I treat it as if I'm missing something as if there's something I need to be giving my attention to or focusing on or something that I could be doing that I'm not getting. But at the same time, everything is perfect. I'm exactly where I need to be and I'm doing exactly what I need to be doing. And I can't rely on synchronistic numbers to to determine whether or not I'm on the, in the right alignment because I'm always in the right alignment whether I believe I am or not so that's really just a case of me getting out of getting out of the old mind the limited mind and uh, centering myself more in my heart and even just saying that now it feels really good I'm really grateful to be here and just observing it's really nice just Watching, like there's the sunset going down, just the blues and the pinks and the whites. It's gorgeous. Just in this little hotel. So, 
yeah, that's been one thing that I've been dealing with. Also, another thing, uh, well, what, that was it, came into my mind next was... Uh, I was talking in a couple of my recent daily videos about this Forex trading thing that I've started. And I started it yesterday, which was Monday, the 8th of November. And yeah, it's basically a, a trading software. And because I live in the UK, it is automated. So it trades for me. And um, yeah, it was, it did its thing yesterday and over the course of last night. And I woke up this morning and noticed that my account was 1.2% up. Now you'll see a little disclaimer, there's past, past results do not guarantee future profits, but there we go. It's, um, I was pretty impressed with that. That is a high risk setting, you know, so that is, that is high risk. Doing 1.2% in a day using a software or, or, or Forex trading in general um, is, is somewhat risky but it's, uh, it's a calculated risk. But yeah, there'll be a disclaimer on this video right now just to say, yeah, just don't expect that. But yeah, if, you're, if anyone's interested in, in taking a look at that and hearing more about that, then yeah, just send me a message. Um, I can certainly point you in the right direction. And uh, seeing those results now, it was, I was actually waiting. I mean, it's only been one day's worth of results, but I feel very confident based on other results that I've seen, plus that happening today is, um, yeah, it feels good. I feel really excited about that. So I'm just, I'm, this is the first time I'm actually sharing about it. So that's cool. And uh, I'll be sharing more about that in time. So like in a week from now, I'll share like, oh, this is what it's done now. And then a month's time, it'll be like, oh, this is what it's done in a month. So that'll be interesting. The other thing, my top lines, middle lines, and bo bottom lines. So I'm going to go into a little bit more depth about them today. So I've just got them here. It's it's a part of this this these action steps that my friend and I were actually uh, putting into like a a personal development program. It's called the Foundation for Personal Growth. And again, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it now because we're still founding the foundation. We're still putting in building blocks into it. But yeah, this morning I've done my appreciation practice, which has felt great is doing it every morning. First thing upon waking up or like or in the morning, it's just, I used to do it before and then I stopped doing it. And oh, the difference is just incredible. It's really worth it. Just like being able to even like, waking up, rolling out of bed, going up to the window, opening up the curtains and just looking outside and just being like, right, I appreciate everything. And I appreciate myself and I appreciate everyone and the trees outside and the sky and uh, the temperature of the air and anything and everything. The fact that I can have a bed to sleep on is just incredible. So just, it's really good. Just, you know, it works, right? I feel great now, even just saying that. So. And then meditation, I had a really nice meditation today, this morning, uh, before I set off from Cancun. Just really grounded me in, really centered me, made me feel really at peace. And you know that feeling when you meditate and your mind just kind of goes into this, kind of kind of simmers down into this bubbling, like, oh, it's a nice, gentle simmer. It's a really nice feeling. And I did my yoga as well. It's like, I've actually been, it's really good. So it's literally been six days in a row. This would be my sixth day of, you know, doing it every single day. And I'd been aiming to do it every single day for months now. And I have been doing it very consistently, almost every single day, which has been good. But it's just felt, I feel really good for doing it. These past six days, there's something about it, you know, like for those that have done yoga, who are watching this. Um, who have done it consistently as well, like that feeling you get, it's like, I just feel more limber. It's really nice and it's just helping my energy move as well, so. And then the afternoon, make one video for the 30 day video challenge. That's what I'm doing now. Uh, if, if Amber Road Media, which is my kind of like 
my media business slash the work I do freelance for for a YouTube channel. I basically do administration for a YouTube channel and that's a part of what that's my my main source of income at this point. Or one of my one of my main sources of income. Um, but I haven't had to do that yet today, but I actually do have some work to do on that today, so I will get on that. And then do at least one thing towards FPG, which is the foundation for personal growth, even if it's just five minutes of like adding something to it. I haven't actually been doing that one. And I've decided to, today to take it off the list because it's, instead of like setting to do's, I've realized it's better for this kind of thing to do like, it's more about setting new habits and trying to create new habits. And that really habits are a mental thing. And that really comes down to just retraining the mind through repetition, through repeating the same habits over and over again. And so, yeah, I'm gonna reframe this third action into, into more habits based rather than daily to-dos. Because daily to-dos is like, it's better just to go with the flow and not have the mind involved so much, just, re just surrender and, and take the day as it comes. And of course, set an intention if you feel you need to, or if I feel I need to, I will set an intention, or if I know I need to do something, I will do that thing. But otherwise, it's just going with the flow. And so in a way, having a, a list of to-do things like this is, creates limitations, so, but it's helping. This is good for me forming new habits, and that's what I'm really focused on right now, is creating new, healthier habits than perhaps I had before and going for a, at least one walk. So I went shopping today. I had to get some, some new socks because my other ones had holes in and uh, some, some boxer shorts as well because my other ones were falling apart. So I thought it was time to get some new, new socks and boxer shorts. So I got those while I was in Cancun, which was good. And then make at least one outreach call. So part of the foundation for personal growth is it's really about building a community and we're gonna have this kind of like program, this like action step program. So you do different action steps of like forming new habits as a part of that, establishing the kind of lifestyle that you want to create for yourself and the lifestyle that you don't want to create for yourself and using that as like a, a push pull towards law of attraction towards what you do want to create. And then also um, an inner work section to this whole program as well. Whoa. And, um, yeah. And yeah, so making an outreach call to my, to my friend, I certainly did make a call to my friend, which was good. And so we had a good chat exactly about FPG. So that was awesome. And then my, my middle lines, which are basically things we need to be aware of. So it's nothing we have to do or not do, but <laughs> my middle lines are not doing enough and doing too much, which is just part of going with the flow, right? And just realizing when I'm feeling burnt out, just kind of take a chill, like time to rest. And when I feel that there's something that I'm missing or, yeah, just, just going with the flow. It's not even about things that, because if I'm not doing enough or I feel that I'm not doing enough, usually that's gonna be coming from, from the ego. 1818. Um, another part of it is like, as I said in a previous video, I've gone through this period of the past two months where I quit smoking, like cigarettes and weed, and that's then brought on an increased appetite. And so I've been working with my appetite and readjusting my food habits as well and my relationship with food. So part of my middle line in that way is if I feel down at all, in any kind of way, if there's something I feel upset by or whatever, uh, don't don't turn to food to numb the discomfort. That's a big one for me. And then bottom lines, things that I must not do. So it's mainly focused around my eating habits and uh, food habits. So no ordering tomato.mx, which is like a, 
a delivery, food delivery service where you can order from restaurants here in Tulum. So I got into a habit of doing that and um, it was just far too convenient for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was just, I let myself order stuff that wasn't, wasn't good for my health. So another thing is no eating solids after 7 p.m., which I feel is really good, especially if you want to lose, like if you want to burn a bit of fat, uh, no eating for, for a certain amount of time before bed is really, really good for that. And also just really healthy in general. Like it certainly helps with the fasting and the autophagy and like your cellular regeneration while you sleep and then especially if you intermittent fast in the morning then of the next morning you can do some powerful healing upon yourself and yeah calorie control i suppose and then also eating food because it feels uncomfortable for my body to switch to fat burning slash hunger like yeah that's that's the thing as well and I think that's that's also a habit as well. It's like, it, it, it's also the types of food that I'm eating. So if I'm eating real clean, like nothing processed and just whole foods and like, like salad and just lots of fiber, like lots of clean fiber and like no, no sugars really, no, or, or, or carefully selected sugars or carefully selected carbohydrates, then I'm able to regulate my appetite really well and not get these intense like overwhelming like you know the hangry feeling that you usually get after after eating carbs you know um so that's something i'm also working with is just eating more when i'm hungry instead of just to avoid hunger like eating before i actually get hungry to uh, to avoid getting hungry because i don't want to face that discomfort or I'm just in this kind of mental state of kind of like self-soothing myself um, with food in that way and that's, it's not serving me anymore so it's something I'm working with. And yeah, eating when not hungry and then eating because I enjoy the flavours or the satiated feeling. So that ties in with that whole like self-soothing thing as well, like the kind of feeling satiated which, yeah, it's not always ideal. So again, just me readjusting my food habits after half of my life of smoking cannabis and that having a quite a profound impact on my, my relationship with food because of the old munchies for one. It's quite a big deal. And that's, that's just one aspect of it. I was about to go into the astrology then, but it's like, no, you can't, you can't blame your, your eating habits on your astrology. You definitely can't. <laughs> well, some people can. I just, I'm going to choose not to. I need to take responsibility for all of my actions. <laughs> oh, and then the last one is talk to at least two new people about that Forex trading thing I just said, I just said about. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that, like outreaching on like Facebook groups, not really targeting my Facebook friends list because it's not really for that. Although I may just do that at some point, just go through my Facebook friends and like talk to each individual, just go past each person once just to, you know, just just to present it. But don't don't be like shoving it down people's faces or jumping in the DMs and like kind of just being being annoying about it just like be friendly because social media is, is social media it's not sales media and I do feel that's where a lot of people kind of miss a beat you have to provide value with what you're attempting to sell there's certain ways of, of marketing yourself using social media and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to do it in the most ethical and the most unannoying way I can, I know how. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's really all I have to share today. Um, I've really, so today I've really gone into, the, into depth about this, this third action, this third action. Uh, there are some other things that I wanna share, but there's, 
24 days left to share all of that stuff as well. So I'm going to leave it short for today. And thank you so much for listening. Infinite love to you all. And I wish you a really good evening and week ahead. See you tomorrow. Much love. Bye-bye.